So it's, it's something about that space, if you will, right? Whether it's here facing the dining area or over here facing those. And I'm just going with the kind of the four gables concept only because that's going to be the most kind of feeling like you are in that. Um, my mind just went pro like, but whatever, whatever our word is that we're using here, the carriage house kind of thing. So not straight up, you know, two story. And then if we've got, if we've got some pretty windows on just a, just a, you know, hit day line across here, that it's not so carriage -y looking. It's, you know, I guess it's more, picture, not picture windows, but just more daylight out the back, smaller windows to the gables, maybe no windows to the bathroom. And then the house is, the house is, you know, the second floor, second floor of the house over here somewhere, right? Yeah. And so, Rob, that was what I say. Three fifty plus twelve by four is another fifty. It's about four hundred square feet, just rough okay. back of the envelope, I mean, right? I think, I think and it, you know, the bigger the lot, the more site cost. I think fifteen hundred a floor, forty-five hundred. What I did is I'm taking someone else's plan. I'm just now manipulating it, the data for that. What Kevin's drawing in this in the square footage. And taking out all the options these people have added and get it to a base price. Mm -hmm. I think okay. base I think base price with no upgrades. Let me just get my let me make sure I did this right. With with that kitchen, probably a million seventy five ish ish. No upgrades, no brick in the front, you know. Mm -hmm. That lot, that lot, you know, like that lot. When I mean, this is a good deal on that lot. <laughs> Like right today, he said he would take a million to twenty, which is a steal, which gets that lot to two three. Now, if you had back to a Vienna lot, if you had a Vienna lot at nine fifty, then you're or whatever that number is. What's that number? You're at two million twenty four. Rob, was, was your, your price, price including the studio? studio? I threw a quick number in there, yeah. Well, I guess what I'm, guess what I'm saying is if you're doing, doing you said 3,000 square feet, 1,500 per floor? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Plus plus that 400 feet. Sorry. Plus, plus the 400 feet. Because, because it's going to be a new top for the four bedrooms upstairs if you add a studio to that. Yeah, no, 15, 15, 15, 15, plus that 400, plus the two-car garage. This is fifteen hundred square feet. This right here, good. Just as a, it's actually fifteen twelve. So just a bubble bubble diagram here, just to get a bubble diagram. And you can say, well, this is going to be boring, and and I might agree with you, but this the details as well. As you get into that, it's like a program. Think of these as bubbles, right? Not not as like this is just in terms of relationships. If the garage is over here. On the high side of the property, right? For the front of it, I just detached the garage a little bit so we had a little bit of a carriage house feel, right? And part of the way we can push this back a little bit, push this back a little bit. So there's a little bit of a detached feel. So this is the main house, and then this is the, the garage with the with the with the apartment above. And then again, just not thinking. This is just one, just again, in terms of relationships and spaces, right? So maybe there is a 